on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, now, which is the USJ, in which Izuku. Ugh. He wants to ride in Midnight's car, but the thing is, Inko is hovering around them pretty much. I don't trust you with my son vibes. Which is completely understandable. The thing is, Midnight, she, she has no other ways to say no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything with your son I swear I promise I won't lay a finger on him but, yeah maybe not the, a finger uh, look I didn't know about this whole patrol thing until you guys did so can you please just let, calm down just a little Zigu's just like, okay, mom, she's not going to do anything, she promises, so, can you please not, not do anything weird? Can you please leave her alone? Uh, who said you on? Mom, you're being rude to midnight she hasn't done anything she said she wasn't going to do anything can't you just leave it at that fine I, I guess um, as they head to school and Izuku he tries his best to to avoid looking more than just a student and a teacher because they they not they have not told anyone about this at all when it comes to oh yeah I'm gonna marry such and such and because he just married in a scandal he was worried about midnight because of her career as a hero and when it comes to him chances are he's just gonna get a bunch of high fives but he's not into that but. Mineta and Xero and Karnari, they're more like, okay, so, what what's going on between you two? Oh, she's just giving me some uh, extra lessons. Yeah, I bet she is. Uh, anything uh, you want to share with your friends here? No. No, not at all. Them just... just Come on, man, just tell us something. Something. Now leave me alone. That's pretty much it. When the villains attack, Izuku, having learned some things from Midnight and I like that, has actually gotten a lot better when it comes to control and uh, easily takes out the villains. He doesn't destroy his fingers or anything just to make sure that... Uh, Nothing else on Kuth happens. He actually does upgrade his suit a little bit. Just to stand for the cape back, he needs something to absorb all the excess energy and power he has. When it comes to the Nomu, however, since he can't go full 100%. It's still him getting pretty much ragdolled, you could say. Well, Alma gets there, Izuku is like, finally. The only thing is, Alma still gets hurt a lot, and I do mean it. His side gets stabbed into, as well as you could. Izuku is now one to just to let things be the way they are. He's not going to risk that. He's not going to risk All Might dying like this. So he steps in again. This time he's going for the head. Since Nobu's distracted with All Might, Izuku 
drop kicks the no move right in the brain, killing it. He thought it would be able to regenerate, and hopefully Almighty would be able to get the other villains by that time, but no. The brain is splattered everywhere. To a point where all my uh, uh, even Shigaraki Kurigiri is like, what did you just do? Them using this distraction to get the hell out of Dodge, and Izuku's pretty much. Did I just? Did I really just? He's starting to shake. He's starting to feel like, oh my god, I just killed someone. With All Might's quirk. He starts crying. All Might's trying to comfort him. But it can only do so much. When Bakugo and the others see what's left of the Nomu. Who did this? Seeing Izuku's state. Is... No way. You? I didn't mean to. I I thought even Bakugo, you, you actually killed someone. Holy shit! I, I this is when the hero, other heroes show up and they just see this. And Midnight she runs in there and hugs Izuku particularly tight. It actually being able to calm him down instantly, especially when he realizes what his face is up against. Him feeling more comfort to the point where he just opens his arms and hugs Midnight too. Her patting him on the head, saying, is everything's going to be alright? Well, the students are pretty much like... Um... Can you explain this... Huh? Oh, I... <gasps> Midnight... Oh. I kind of forgot you guys were here. How? I... Midnight... Like, oh, um... Well, I saw him pretty much distraught, and... Yeah, but well, you also saw all my... Tank we had it covered. But then Manel just had to say something like, yeah, but for what we can see, what, Mid what Midnight did, the uh, hell didn't get over it quicker. Man, wait, what? The, oh, yes, because he, he actually took a picture. Like, you see, uh, take note of uh, his face in between the bosoms of uh, one's such midnight, you know, R-rated hero, you know. and uh, it didn't take long for him to come back to normal. Midnight is not like that, I swear. Then seeing Izuku's blushing, like, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, Rocco, she feels a little salty, like, okay. What the hell was that? I, I, did, did something happen between you two? Huh? Me, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Please, t tell us, why has she been driving you to and from school lately, huh? What's your relationship? Everyone just starting to pry and start poking. Just like, come on, what, what's going on here? Zuku was like, ah. Okay, I might as well, we might as well tell them, you know, me. First name basis. Oh, this must be good. Like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I think, guys, the truth is, me and Midnight have been training together. What? You see, she actually 
me and her actually met somewhere outside of school during, after the entrance exam in which we started talking more, more about our course. She noticed that mine is somewhat like All Might's, but for some reason my body wasn't completely ready for it. And I told her about the other way she can utilize her quirk without, you know, exposing herself as much. What? Mineta, this is like, damn, I'm kind of disappointed, but also, I'm a little relieved. <laughs> Cyril coming over, he's like, fuck yeah, thank goodness. But that still doesn't... Hmm. Uh, let's not worry about it. Oraga is somewhat relieved, but no one else notices. Midnight, you sly dog. Just looking at Izuku with an impressed look. He's like, him giving more details. Like, before, like in the entrance exam, I destroyed my legs and my arm just trying to save one person, just gesturing towards Oraka. But she informed me that, yeah, if I destroyed my body just trying to save one person like that, the robot didn't even need that much force to do what I did. So, what if it was a real life villain attack situation? I could have just let myself wide open to the point where hmm, I would have died or countless others could have died because I couldn't operate anymore. And this being Izuku, everyone believes it. It's pretty much like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. We see how you are, considering your notebooks, the way you mumble and all that. This, this is what I got crazy. But, guys, haven't you noticed he doesn't really mumble nearly as much? What? What? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm just saying, it's, it's almost like someone's taking away his nervousness, or at least making it so he can think inside his head instead of just mumbling out, out loud. Oh, she was helping me with that, too. Okay. All my... No, Midnight Art, you're not giving young Midoriya any special treatment, are you? No. No. No, I'm not. Her just thinking back, is like, even if I wanted to, I doubt his mom would allow it. But, as we're in today, that explanation is more than good enough. Especially considering that, oh, it's been a long day, he just got attacked by villains. But, it's when they head back home. At least, when Izuku heads back home. <laughs> this is when Narumi is here with her parents. Uh, what's going on? Well, we decided that you two should, uh... uh start living together. On your own. Inko pretty much just protesting in the background. <sighs> okay. Wait, you're serious? Of course. I don't know how to feel about that. Come on, my man, my boy. You should feel good about it. Considering that, yes, you will be... All over with me. I really don't want this to happen. Dad, so, no, you're my baby girl. It's, I, this, oh. <clears throat> it's one thing for you, for you to be dating someone, but uh, don't worry. We'll just be staying it. My house, that's it doesn't read, but no, 
what? It goes, nope, that was part of the deal. Uh, what? Yeah, you see, to get Miss Midoriya to agree to this, you guys will be staying in this apartment complex together. Dad, I have my own house. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we know, but still... Uh, this, this was a good... No, 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 no. What you're doing is bowing down to her, her demands. No, it's called a compromise. <sighs> Besides, you two are going to get to know each other a lot better before you tie the knot. We would rather you be happier when you got married instead of pretty much being married to a total stranger. So, yes, this is how it shall be done. Izuku pretty much looking back at his mom, her still wanting to say something, but... Okay... So, what, um, when are we gonna, hmm, today, you guys can start moving your things in today, but mom, what about my, don't worry, it'll still be there, you own it, correct, so just get your stuff and at least what's in your room in fact you know what will house sit for you no what no no you are not allowed in my house while I'm not there Ruby why not because you guys are nosy you're gonna start rooting through my stuff I know it Inko's like you don't have anything to hide now, do you? Uh, 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 no, no. He goes. I do not want this to continue. Please tell me there's a way to get out of this. Please? Uh, we're sorry, but no. I mean, unless. Uh, unless what? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing! Like I said, no, there's no way for us to get out of this. <laughs> Alright. As yes. Upon moving in, finally, them being technically alone, Inko just walks next door and like, I'm going to be having my ear to the wall for you, Missy. I am not going to defile your son. Why do you keep thinking? <sighs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. <sighs> you like, let's go home, Isuku. Uh, him looking at his mom, feeling the rage, just bubbling. Okay, just running in there. Hers looking back at midnight. I swear. Don't you dare think about. Stealing my son's innocence. <sighs> I have done nothing wrong. I have done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. It makes no sense. Seriously. I know I may be older than who you expected to be your daughter-in-law, but still. We have no way to fix this, or at least break it off. 
So can you at least treat me nicer, Miss Midoriya? Mm. Time will tell. All right, that that that, that works. I, I guess that yeah that works. As the first night, Izuku sees the bed that they're supposed to be sleeping in. Inko wasn't able to get two twin size beds so they could be separated. So it was pretty much hoping that you know, ugh. I take it this was your parents' idea. Oh yeah, no doubt. Huh. And my mom is possibly listening. There's no doubt in my mind that she is. Them trying to just get relaxed and Izuku, he's shirtless. Midnight, she's wearing something that like, you would wear to bed, but for not the reason that would, uh, you know, uh, Seed confidence within Inko's heart. It's very interesting, very uh, see through. Izuku's. Uh, don't worry, I'm wearing something under this. I. Just because we're going to get married doesn't mean you get to take a peek. <gasps> I would never. <sighs> I know. That's what made you so adorable. As yes, they try to go to sleep, but Izuku, him turning around, just seeing midnight, she's already out cold. So, was, she twists and turns a lot. Making it so she's into some very interesting positions. Especially from Izuku's point of view. He may not be pitch, pitch black. He may not uh, do anything, but his soldiers saying, Come on, man. The sooner we get married, the sooner that's ours. All we have to do is wake her up and see if she's ready to go already. And Izuku has no choice. He wasn't, you know, bad thoughts. Bad, bad. No, I, I, I can't, I can't be thinking like this. I'm supposed to be a hero. Well, heroes have to let off some steam every once in a while, or else it could be very detrimental to their health. So Izuku pretty much just walks right into the kitchen, gets him a glass of water. Just <sighs> no, no, I, I must be. A gentleman, I cannot, you know, succumb to my desires. That is not what heroes do. As soon as he goes back, he sees Midnight. Oh, in one of the best positions to ever be seen in. I mean, something that makes him think, like, maybe I should sleep on the couch. But even then, he just wakes up. It's like, what's wrong? Her noticing how she's positioned is like, it's not what you think. What? I, I'm, I'm not thinking anything. Like, no, I'm up serious. It's just, um, uh, uh, it's, uh, this is just, uh, you, you know how I, you know, uh, usually, Show off and whatever. So yeah, yeah I, I know. Yeah, that's uh, sometimes it, it it happens when I'm sleeping too. So so you can please not worry. Of course, of course, I, I would never. Okay, good. Thank you. Now are you going to bed? I'm thinking we'll go sleep on the couch. <sighs> Seriously, 
kid, we're going to move past this. You can't be like that. Tell you what. I turn one side, you turn the other. We're not facing each other. It's, mm -hmm. As soon as you get more comfortable, then we can, can what? So, calm down. Then we can try at least being more close. You, you know, maybe you could actually have enough uh, confidence to hold my hand. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So, want to try it? What, holding your hand? No, just just get some sleep. Yeah, busy day tomorrow. Them finally going to bed, but when they wake up, Izuku's the first one to see that. The, Oh, that was the best night's sleep I ever. Him j realizing, yeah, he turned around in his sleep, and so did Midnight. What makes it worse is that Midnight is. Uh, she's hugged up on him, tight. And I do mean just to a point where he's like, ooh, they, I, I can't move. Him trying to pry himself off of midnight, but it's like she just holds him tighter. Him like, wow, these are soft. But then it's like, wait, no, 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 bad thoughts, no, no. It's like, oh no. Is midnight just like, what the? Oh hey, he's like, wait, what's poking me? Her realizing, uh, 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 her just trying to resist looking down. Is, uh, I, um, uh, then a knock on the door. Uh, oh, thank God. Her just like, wait, no, you can't, you can't answer the door like that. Why not? Oh, right. And it might be your... Open the door, damn it! Yeah, that's my mom. Izuku putting on a shirt, at least. As Izuku opens the door and Izuku is like... Are you alright? Did she hurt you? Is she... Her looking... That... Bitch... Wait, what? As he realizes his soldier is still standing in attention, ready for battle, and Inko pushes him aside and goes to confront Midnight. It's not a good look when she sees what Midnight is wearing. So when she's about to attack, literally pounce on Midnight, Izuku has to pretty much hold her back. Trying to explain, no, mom, it's not what you think. It's a normal reaction for guys in the morning. Have you ever heard about morning wood? That's what it is. Come on. Just, are you sure? She didn't try anything. Yes. You're not lying to me, are you? No. Heck, it was her idea that we sleep facing away from each other just so I wouldn't get nervous or anything. Is this true? Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> uh, well, everyone, good day, you two. Her walking away like nothing happened. Izuku just sucked. Uh, just being able to take a breath after this crazy ass mornings. Then he remembers, oh wait, I got school. In which they do is so like, yeah, we're going to have to take a break from classes and whatnot. To figure out about the security problem. So 
if anything, take this time to train and get more tuned to your, your quirks and your strategies because the sports festival is coming up. Which, Izuku is actually kind of nervous, but also kind of excited. On one hand, he gets more time to practice his quirk. On the other hand, it's pretty much like, oh my god, this this means mom is going to be surveilling, seeing the whole area around me at midnight. As my notice, you excited about your old private lessons? Huh? Oh, wait, what? No, no, no. <clears throat> it's nothing like that. <sighs> I just think this training session is going to be complete hell. More like heaven, you lucky bastard. I don't do anything besides training and talking with Midnight. And yes, he does help me with my classwork, but that's pretty much it. Why don't I believe you? Because you're an idiot. That may be true. But I know about these things. I am not a complete oblivious such as someone like you. It's like, wait. <laughs> Why do you smell so sweet? Huh? Yeah, you, you smell, huh, like, uh, wait a minute, why do you smell like peaches? What? And strawberries, what the fuck? Everyone hearing this, like, wait, what? Oraka, was a... what was he talking about? This is the wrong time when Midnight shows up and Manetta following his gut. Uh, she smells the same. She smells the same as you. Izuku realizing, oh yeah, God knows how long they were hugged up like that until they woke up. So everyone's staring like, what the hell? Can you explain this? Well, duh. Training. Everyone's like, Midnight, are you serious? Like, yeah. Ugh, fine. Allow me to demonstrate. Come here, Izuku. What? Come on, let's show them how we train. You get into your fighting stance, I get into mine. And just... Ugh. Calm down. Just because you're going to get your ass whooped doesn't mean you have to be embarrassed. I am a pro hero after all. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Which, Midnight completely, utterly dominates. That is a poor choice of words. But, yeah, she beats the ever loving crap out of Yuzuku, pinning him down, body slamming him. Yuzuku not being able to have enough time to really activate one for all, let alone... The percentage, which Izuku is not loving it. In fact, he's pretty much like, "What the hell? Why am I getting beaten up by my future wife?" But at the end of the day, it proves his innocence, so he can't really be all too mad. Bargo just like <laughs> pussy. Would you like to come? Come over here and uh, get your ass whooped too. Uh, oh, please, I ain't afraid. She just vanishes out of thin air and Jill chops this poor bastard Bakugo. Anyone else want to test me? No, we're good. We're good. Just, uh. Now, allow us to please leave so we can continue with his training but this is when Oraka just like wait can I train with you what yeah 
I think I think it would be very, you know, beneficial if I uh, trained with someone as skilled as you. Really? So, uh, so we were going uh, home, straight home, weren't we? Yeah. No shit. Um, I'm sorry, but I I'm gonna be really busy. Uh, training with I Isuku. I'm sure he doesn't mind, do you? Uh, I... I... Come on, Isuku. Please don't do this. Araka's like, looking at him like with a serious face. Like, oh, please don't. Please let me join you. I'm sorry, Araka. Oh, but I... We can't. If anything, if she had to divide the time between both of us, giving my quirks versatility as well as the versatility of yours, she wouldn't be able to fully train us both. In fact, that could actually get her to a point where she wouldn't even be able to do hero work when she isn't training. Uh, <laughs> I guess... She that makes sense, yeah. I, I suppose you're right. Araka feeling defeated, but Izuku's like, YES! <sighs> Alright. So let's just get this training day over with, please. I couldn't have said it better myself. And Oraka. Her defeated look, Mina and Hagakure is like, okay. Alright, just some don't. Some isn't boding well with me. Those two are up to something. Oraka? Won't we do the snooperfication? Come on, come on, let's, let's spy on them. But why? Because <laughs> some don't feel right. So something feels off here. Shopper, you trying to be the voice of reason, is like, you know that's illegal. And it's considered stalking, and midnight being a pro hero, wouldn't that raise a lot of red flags? Come on, don't you want to know what kind of training they're doing? She told us. Seriously, the fact that you believe that, you're so naive. There's obviously another reason why I, mean, I wouldn't want to train Midoriya and Ochako. I just want to find out why. Is that so wrong? You're technically breaking the law, so yes. Well, you don't have to help. Well, what do you say, Ochako? Um, Froppy's right, and we shouldn't. I was just thinking, but something does feel off about them, so maybe we should. I mean, it's fine as long as we don't get caught, right? Chaco, this, it's just, just because you don't get caught doesn't mean it's not r wrong. Froppy starting to use the puppy frog eyes, I guess, or tadpole eyes, trying to convince Chaco, come on, don't, don't fall for that. Don't, don't lean towards the dark side now. <sighs> Fine, I won't do anything. We, Mina got Grace like, man, you're so boring. You know what? Fine, I got Grace. It's you and me. I got Grace. Uh, oh, don't you tell me you're gonna be a, a traitor too? I, no, it's just. 
What if what what if we do find something? What? Yeah, what, what if it turns out there is something going on that's not just like a relationship with student and teacher is what if it does dive deeper into that? Then we have some stories to tell.